Hey guys, this is David Arroyo and today uh, we are going to have a look at a brand new product by AstroPath that was released today. Uh, so it all started with an email that I received yesterday in my inbox and it says something like, oh, AstroPad is coming up with a brand new uh, product coming soon. So I got all excited, right? And I wake up this morning and, you know, I get another email by AstroPad and it said, AstroPad Studio is here. All right, so needless to say, as soon as I had some free time, I immediately downloaded the, uh, the new app and uh, got started with it. So let's start the review. Let's have a look at what's uh, different from the traditional AstroPad or the standard one as they're calling it now. And um, I think it'll be great fun. Follow me. All right, so let's dive right in. So as you can see, AstroPad Studio is a separate app from AstroPad itself. Uh, you can download both still at the App Store. The AstroPad standard uh, is still coming in at $29.99 US dollars, and the AstroPad Studio can be downloaded for free. Now, I say for free, but there is a subscription fee. Now the subscription fee, we're gonna get to it at the end of the video. First, I wanna show you guys uh, AstroPad uh, Studio itself. So as you guys can see, it says open AstroPad Studio on your Mac, which means that you still have to download the software on the Mac as well. And you can do that on the AstroPad website itself. Uh, this was the same with the standard uh, AstroPad. Right, so I'm quickly gonna launch it on the Mac. And there we go, it brings us uh, straight into the app itself. Quickly gonna bring this in. Uh, so you can use uh, these uh, applications right here like Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, Illustrator, uh, and you know uh, Sketchbook Pro. Uh, but of course there's many more. Now as soon as I ticked uh, with my Apple Pencil on the screen it says Pencil Detected Magic Gestures Active. Now that is what I really like, the magic gestures. Uh, and that's an addition that is really, really amazing. So as soon as I um, open up the menu you'll see that you know it shows you uh, that you are currently in the AstroPad app. If I were to click just here, okay, it now says, okay, you're using Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud. If I were to take my cursor and click on Finder, so it switches to Finder. So I really like that because it means that your uh, gestures and your um, you know, your shortcuts, they're now working on the app that is being displayed uh, because every app has different uh, shortcuts. So there we go. Now, magic gestures, what are they? They are a really, really cool feature that makes your productivity a whole lot higher and it speeds things up quite a bit. So I'm gonna show you a couple of really fun things. Um, if I were to draw a couple of lines, right? Circles and lines and whatever not. Now, if I just, use my two fingers and tap on it, you can undo it. Very, very useful. So say I'm drawing and it doesn't matter what hand. And if I want to redo three fingers and I can redo the work, you know, to, to wherever I had it. Okay. Now that is because these gestures, okay, as you can see here, undo two fingers tap when you click on it, I, I hope you guys can read it. If not, it just basically says that it is connected or linked to undo uh, in Photoshop uh, or redo. Now, if you go back and you go to your workspace, because this is where you can edit it. Now, you might recognize this. This is from the traditional standard AstroPad. They also have something very similar to this. Uh, but here at the bottom, you can click on edit shortcuts and here First of all, you have the shortcuts that you'll find on the menu right here, so these ones. But the cool little addition are your tap shortcuts, which is your two fingers tap and your three fingers tap. Now, with the two fingers tap, if I really wanted to change that, I can click on it and change it here. So the very cool thing here is that you can modify it, and so we're quickly gonna do that. We're gonna clear the keys. You click on that, or tap on that, I should say now and then you enter a keystroke. Now, as soon as you enter the keystroke, you can now see that AstroPad Studio also comes with a integrated keyboard, which is very, very useful. So uh, you do Command Option Z, which was the one that was being used, but you can put in anything basically. And then you can modify your own um, thingy. So we undo and redo, really awesome. Now, another thing that I really like, so let's say I quickly select uh, any color, just really random. I'm gonna increase the brush, do 
do this and some other color, whatever. Okay, now let's say I use three fingers and all of a sudden I can do color picking at the same time. So very, very useful. This is all extremely useful when you're working uh, professionally because time really does make a difference and it makes it much more comfortable to work in. So that concludes the magic gestures that you can use. Um, obviously, there are other really cool ones, like for example, erasing or right mouse button or um, stuff like that. So let me quickly show you that actually, uh, because that is just as fun. So again, I'm drawing some lines. If I were to now just leave my finger on the screen, See, I'm erasing. Now you see that green little line that you're seeing there? That's basically this. If you can find it right here. You go to magic gestures and obviously these you can modify as well. So if I click on eraser, uh, here you see that it has a line preview color. So that was green. If you don't like line previews like me, you just take them out and just go back and just close this up again. Put your finger there again and you're erasing uh, very easily. So very, very useful. Obviously, your eraser, you can, you know, just standardly set that up to whatever you want in Photoshop, as always. Uh, another thing that I really, really like about um, this new AstroPad Studio is the speed. Okay, so remember the time on AstroPad Standard when you quickly moved in between. And I can maybe show you even better with a mouse. Okay, with a mouse, you can really see how fast uh, it is. On a AstroPad Standard, this would get all blurry. Uh, here, it honestly, you don't notice it. And that is also really, really amazing. Obviously, your standard gestures are back. And maybe there's one last thing that I can show you guys, which is really fun. Uh, it's also to show you that there, like I said, there were some serious speed improvements. And I would like to demonstrate that by showing you this one versus the standard uh, AstroPad. So I'm gonna disconnect the USB cable and now I'm in Wi-Fi mode. Now Wi-Fi mode works really well. Uh, obviously the further you are from your router, the weaker your signal is gonna be. So let's have a quick look at what quality we're in. So I'm at a part of the house where the quality of the Wi-Fi is low or, or yeah, it just fluctuates. Now it goes back to medium, sometimes poor. It's just not the greatest. So I'll show you what that means. So I'm drawing some brush strokes, trying to draw them a bit faster. I want to do the ultimate circle and you know I mean it works just fine it's not you know it, it picks up just fine and you know if we quickly check okay my Wi-Fi is on high quality right now meaning that you know I'm not in too bad position for my router uh, but without connection I mean you know if I were to do circles really fast which is the ultimate test for speed you can see that it registers pretty well. Uh, so even without uh, that, and obviously all your gestures still work, um, you know, so it's really cool with or without. Now, if we were to do the exact same test on the standard um, AstroPad, you'll see, a, you'll get a very different result. Let's quickly uh, make a comparison. So right now we are in the traditional AstroPad, the uh, standard one. And my connection here, you can see it is still pretty good on Wi-Fi. So you can still get pretty good accurate, um, you know, work here. Uh, and even when I do my circles, it's still good. However, you saw a tiny little bit of lag there. So AstroPad Studio is faster. You know, it says it on the website and I can confirm it. It really does um, work much faster. The thing that is gone here though, look at that. There's no more um, magic gestures, they're gone. The thing also that I really wanna highlight because this is an important one, the lasso tool, right? In standard AstroPad, if I make a selection, you know, you will see how the edges here, they get all blurry and, you know, uh, same also when I select uh, menus, okay? You see how it like pixelates for a bit and I can show that even faster if I just highlight it like this and move with my mouse, it's, it, it, only for a second even, it's just pixelated for a second. Now it's not that big of a deal when you're going through menus, but when you're making selections, this can get a little bit annoying. So say I'm making a selection, press shift to add on to that selection and more and more and all these selections and you know, your screen looks a bit just annoyed. Now, even if I add the cable to it, as I'm doing right now, 
you know, now it's a wired connection. It's still like that. If I were to deselect everything, um, I were to do the same. So this is something that AstroPath standard has always had. Now, what you will see if I switch over to the other AstroPath, AstroPath Studio, and if I do this like this, it's going to ask me to open it up on the Mac. So let me quickly open it up on the Mac. There we go. Select OK. Let's make the same selection. Now, well, as a matter of fact, you can immediately see it already without making the selection. If I were to keep on adding selections, I'm going to make another one and another one and another one. All of these, you know, it is perfect. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's a very quick overview of just the features. What I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to draw something in AstroPad uh, from scratch on the AstroPad Studio this time. We're just going to dive straight into it and I'm just going to start uh, speeding this up. All right, and so there we have it, a very quick sketch, uh, just for demonstration purposes, just to see that it actually all runs very well. I'll add this last layer to it that I had before that, so, you know, it's that one, uh, so that I can mix it all up together. Um, is it perfect? No, but, you know, it's just a quick sketch, just to quickly get the, the you know, get the point across. Um, so I've used pretty much every uh, little tip and trick here. Uh, I've been using all the same gestures and uh, the magic gestures that, you know, they, that, that come with it. They were very, very useful during the drawing. Um, I also really liked uh, the fact that, you know, I could move around, uh, that, you know, the, the color picking was very useful, as I did here when I had it on the, yeah, you know, it was very, very useful to get things done. Um, now that I actually notice, I can remove a couple of thingies here and there that go out of bounds. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, AstroPath Studio, very, very fun and um, very professional. I really like the feeling of it. Now, the one thing, and maybe the last thing uh, that we are going to cover is pricing, because I did say that it was still something that uh, had to be discussed. So let's have a very quick look at uh, how pricing uh, is set up in AstroPath Studio. All right, so as you can see, the pricing is subscription based. So you either pay per month or per year. Now you're also going to see the European currency here because I live in Europe. So it's 849 euros a month for me and 72.99 a year. Uh, if you're in America, that would be 64.99 a year per month. I haven't been able to check that, but it will be less than what I'm paying either ways. Um, so is this expensive? It depends who you are. If you are a hobbyist that barely ever opens up AstroPad and you know you tend to use other apps for drawing free apps or whatever, then yes, this is expensive. However, if you are a professional, and by that I mean someone that makes money based off the art that you make, uh, this money is earned back in no time. So as a professional, it's actually a very good deal. Uh, if you're really going to make use of it, if you're going to get your money's worth out of it, it's a phenomenal deal. If you're just a hobbyist, just looking for something simple, I suggest you then try the AstroPath standard, which is $29.99 in the US and I think, or at least in Europe for sure, in US I assume it would be something very similar. So that's my thought on the price plan. And so there we go, that rounds up the review of the AstroPath Studio. Uh, I really like the product. Um, if you guys like it too, have a look at the App Store, download it, play around with it for yourself. It's free to download and the trial version is free as well. Uh, afterwards, if you want to subscribe, that's up to you to do. You can either subscribe monthly or on a year basis. Any link that you'll need uh, will be found in the description. And if you like these uh, series of videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you for stopping by. See you guys around.